<laughs> your mum sucks. Your mum will waste my fam. <laughs> Should we just start it like something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Different time we're using his battles, isn't it? He has to hype himself up before the camera gets on. No. We're getting deep now. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not hyping myself up. I, I just like I like foreplay. We should is this some? Oh, this is recording. This is foreplay. I like Well to, my thing is the real thing. <laughs> you know when you get done fucking you gotta wait a little bit before you go in again? <laughs> it's like it's gonna it's like that with Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Time oh, right, right, You don't get to rebut that. No, <laughs> rebut, I'm not, I'm no rebuttal rebuttal him saying you're like a second shag. A second shag? You're like no, you're like a weapon bag. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not in rhyme. Not right, right, right. not rhyme. I mean, right. for once, just talking like rebuttal. What, what does, is it you said to get, say again? Well, like he's in, he's saying that like he's. You know what I mean, he's fine. That he would have to just wait a while till he gets hyped up to battle you again. But me, I'm I'm always calm until I'm. No, I don't even know. You know, maybe <laughs> you, I get more calm. You said you know that what? so I chill. Think, yeah, bro. I think that I'm more hyped before a battle. When a battle, I actually calm down these days. But when it's written, I usually get hyped. But when it's freestyle, I'm chill just because. Damn. I don't so even how know much if that answered your question. <coughs> it didn't really, but we can just we can we yeah, can cut yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, how Are we much, starting like, the real interview? How much um <laughs> how much <laughs> preparation have you actually done? Because you do so many varying levels of preparation, but you always do well. But how much have you done for this? I've done more than the old Shea one for this, but I haven't written for yes. that. But yeah, I've done more than the old Shea one. Basically, okay, well, the old right, Shea I had one. How much was the old Shea one? Well, the old Shea one, I had most of my first... Well, I had like... I had about just over a minute. And I made that minute last three minutes because I got such good reaction. But um, it's true. And in the second round, I must have had like eight bars. And I thought it was shit, so I took him out. Basically, I ripped the two rounds at the beginning and put it in one round. And that's why my first round was like sick. And then my second two were mostly freestyle. But like... As I was freestyling, I clocked like I've got rhyme schemes that I was freestyling with, so I bought them in, and some of it look, was written that looked like freestyle shit like that. But this one, I've, my first two rounds, I like writ. I've got two rounds writ, but I'm gonna freestyle in the two rounds anyway. My third round freestyle because people want to the third round. Yeah, yeah, people want to see me freestyle. You're one of the only people I could hear say that and not be like fuck's sake. Like, no, no, yeah, because you it, say like, it, and I'm like, yeah, that it, sounds like, heavy. That sounds you get heavy. me. I don't want to have three written rounds because I'll spit three written rounds. Yeah, I want to, yeah, yeah. I want to be able to freestyle something. You get me? Yeah. Like, and it's gonna pop. I stick up a man with a mango knife, lit up a man like a lamppost light. Be man redder than Nando Rice, but fuck that shit, but it's dad joke time. <laughs> Yo, 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 your dad's got a tie with a Kango sign. <laughs> I didn't even know he was popping. Like, uh, Kruger I told Kruger, I was like, man, I got my passport. I want to get it in. And he's all like, oh, this is Cat Pedro, man. You like him, and he's kind of like you, whatever the fuck. You <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I didn't even know he was going to, I didn't even know, like, he was, uh, he was, like, really a big name. I was kind of mad. At first, I was like, I was like, damn, I was like, damn. My first, my first battle on, on Don't Flop, I wanted to be, I wanted to be a big, uh, a big name, but then I didn't know he was, I didn't know he was like, fuck. But I watched one of his battles and I still didn't know you big. He just said something about I'm gonna sodomize you for the sodomizing that you did to your kid or something. I was like, ah oh, man, I like that kind of shit. <laughs> and then like, so, so like, so that right there let me just not give a fuck if he was big or not. But then I found out he was big. I was like, oh okay, that was plus. You know what I'm saying? Like when the um, umbro, like I, I pretty much got him in the middle of his umbro sign prime. It's mum joke time. Your yeah. mum's got a tattoo of the umbro sign. <laughs> <laughs> the best time in the battle. No, no, Pedro, it is. This, is, this, this, like, this, this couldn't be a bad. Uh, yo, I've got a question for you. See, when you do your actions, when you rap your before, do you perf do you plan that out? Do you uh, plan how you move when you rap? Oh, all that shit everybody like, well, your move, your arm will like, the you stop No, moving. because you always do like see, mad actions when see, you rap. Do you plan yeah, that out? I don't plan that shit. I actually, uh, I just let myself, I just let loose. You know what I'm saying? That's all I do. I let loose and then I just, I just let myself get possessed by hip hop. And then that, that's, that's just straight hip hop doing that. <laughs> like, battle's like, going on a different Like when I'm doing now, like yeah. this and just. Like, you have to understand, you can't it, come it, on Don't Flop and say possessed it, by hip hop. It's, <laughs> it's part of. Those kind of phrases are banned of, from 2007. I think, I think it's part of a bar. Like whenever whenever my hands move with the bar, like I think, like after I say the bar and I notice my hands do that, like it's because I'm like letting go. It's, like, it's kind of like how Raiden would let his electricity come out. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm letting my bar, like this is kind of how I do it. 
in my bar bar out. Yeah, yeah, bar, like, the bar shooting out. I the think more, nah, the more I hear you it. talk, the more I think it's a better battle. Like, we thought it was good. We thought it was a good battle. It is a good battle. But the more I hear you say this shit, because this is the kind of shit he comes out with. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of shit he comes out with on, in the fucking backseat of a car on the way home from me. <laughs> You're the first one to put it on camera and start talking about, bro, I feel like I'm raiding, bro. <laughs> How does it feel to go from basically being hated to being like completely top five loved in the league in like two battles? Because that's what I really want to know. Uh, it feels good, but I always knew that would happen, though. Because like I was... I don't even know. I just knew it would happen, innit? Like, I was 100% sure that I was going to be the sickest freestyler at least. And, like, yeah, basically, as, I'm not even there yet. Like, I've got a lot more sick shit to come. Like, my, my best... Like, that O'Shea and that, that was, like, 50% how good I can do. Yeah. Same with Lift Winter was, like, 30. Like, I, I can murk any of that shit. You get me? I just have to be in the right mood. That's it. It doesn't matter how much bars I got. If I'm in the mood for killing someone in a battle, like, mm. I will get the whole crowd popping. You get me? It's more about my personality. And if, if I'm like shook about the battle or not not really thinking I'm gonna do sick, I won't do sick. I have to know. Yeah, I'm yeah, and yeah. I like like for the last like year, every battle I've gone in, like I didn't even see any way I could have got beat. Just because like I've been too confident. Yeah. Your pain game last though, my pain game death row. Let's go. Your pain game dead weight, mine is death row. You got a four four, that's a tempo. I will hold down C. So the first, second, and third, I'm making fret lows. I start dead slow, but end dope. You about to get both barrels from the jump like Omar in the trench coat. Head slow. How does that make you feel? That like you're so cool now, and you're both really calm people. But the second you step on stage, it's game over for both of you. Like part of the game isn't it? mm. it's like it's it's not just like like i don't feel like i know like there's there's people who battle who like need to get into like a mind frame where they're like oh i hate this guy mm. like i absolutely hate him and this is why i hate him or shit i've never really felt like that like i've always been super competitive like i played mm. sports in high school and shit like and like yeah i don't know what shit like competitive and this is just like another avenue for that and i've never felt like i had to um hate the other team or the other person mm. to perform to the best of my ability. Do you feel the same? Or do yeah, you it's, get... like a, it's like a sport, isn't it? Like, yeah, if you've played sports and now, if you like, did boxing when I was young, so I understand, like, as soon as you in that ring, it's a different mindset, and you're trying to damage each other, but as soon as you're outside, it's all, you know what I'm saying, you shake hands, <coughs> you touch gloves, that's what it is. 100%. And do you both feel like there might be any bias either way to either of you tomorrow? And if so, like, based on anything? I think a lot of, um, uh, <coughs> like, my sort of plan for this battle is like to create bias towards me. <laughs> <laughs> but in what way do you mean so? Like, uh, the angles that I've shows. Create bias towards you? Does that worry you? I can see I'm sure he's not worried. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sure he's not worried. I've done a complete opposite. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've, yeah, nice. the complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I always felt like, because C's always got like a huge buzz in London that I was always um, going to be coming in to like sort of hostile territory or people who want to see C do well or whatever mm. like not to say that London's been biased against me like London's always like been cool with me and never shown any bias against me but I feel like they're really going to be like fucking with C so I chose a lot of angles that are going to try and I feel the opposite them. I feel like coming into the battle I feel like Don't Flop exists like outside of UK hip hop and stuff like it's, it's its own entity yeah. and I feel like the fans of Don't Flop are like they do cross over a little bit because obviously they see you on here and then they go and watch the videos or whatever. But my fan base exists outside of Don't Flop and I've got a little one inside as well, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I feel like Soul's fan base in Don't Flop is a lot stronger than mine. And I feel like when this got announced, I was seeing a lot of the comments and there was a big bias towards you. That's how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, but, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I think like what I'm talking about is inside the venue. Like a lot mm. of these people, are going to be posting like because I have a pretty vocal fan base but it's a lot of people from Scotland or whatever who are not going to be there mm. because like I'm the only sort of active Scottish battler in like English leagues and overseas and stuff so mm. like a lot of them might get behind me like on pay-per-views and stuff like that so I think like the bias online is not going to be reflective oh, I don't think there's going to be bias in the room but in case there is like that's the sort of angle I went for and yeah. like, how do you both feel about Tony like giving it up? Would you have rather, would each of you wa rather you were just the next guy to battle Tony or are you, are you happy that you're battling each other? What's the better outcome? You know what it is, yeah. Like, I don't actually want to battle Tony because I think he is like a really like safe guy. <clears throat> but like the, just for like legitimacy, like mm. of the title. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think like, whoever, whichever one of us wins, there's always going to be the 
ah, but Tony was never lost type thing. Mm. Like, he'd retired and defeated, but... To be fair, like he has to give it up at some point, you know what I mean? He can't just keep battling for like years and years and there's a point like there's always gonna be like someone, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you see it in the UFC or in boxing or whatever, like they're always like, Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that's gonna beat him, this is the guy that's gonna beat him. And it never is. So maybe no one would have ever beat Tony, but for the legitimacy the sake of legitimacy of the title. Yeah. And would have been better for the title if I battled Tony, but I don't know if I would actually enjoy the process of writing. Who do you think would be a harder opponent, C or Tony? Mm-hmm. I think I think C thinks that Tony would be a harder opponent than me. Though, so. would you, do you feel like who would would you think Saul's harder or Tony's harder? Um, yeah, Tony. Like, so basically, you're both looking at each other, <coughs> thinking like, no, I got a second got off, best boy. option. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The title of second best in Don't Fall. <laughs> Yeah. I might, if I give you the trophy, whoever gets it, I think just gives it. It's, it's going to be a bronze or silver trophy. I'm going to change. I'm going to change up the trophy for this one with a little message being like, "You tried your best." But like, <laughs> coming off of that, yeah, like when when me and Cracker won the two on two thing as well, people were saying we were the same legitimacy questions for Tenchu and Lego. Mm. You know what I'm saying because they felt like we obviously we won we won it fair and square. We did. We went through the processes we were we were asked to go through, and we won the title, but. Because Tenchu and Lego hadn't battled us and we didn't win it off them, people felt like it's not. Mm. not the thing is, like we can only battle who's put in front of us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like either of us are ducking Tony or whatever. It's like Tony doesn't want the title anymore. All right, so we need a new champ. Like a lot of people think that like writing and rapping are like two separate things, but a lot of them like can't like there's crossover or whatever, like mm. cadence or whatever. Yeah. Like obviously you need to be able to rap to like pull off the cadences, but cadence is like, you write the cadence. You don't just like write a bunch of words and then hope that it comes out mm. with a specific cadence. Mm. So like, yeah, I think like, if you just come from like a writing background or whatever, then. I feel like that's a big difference as well. Cause there's people like DNA and um, even clips sometimes. Which, yeah, I, I read clips, yeah. DNA is garbage. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like he, the way he writes, he'll, 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 he'll say one bar and then he'll have like a 10 seconds before the rhyming word for the next bar comes in and it's like, that's just trash. Like you have to, you have to kind of. You, there's, there's. That's why when you listen to certain people, it's like, naturally, me. Where I like, I like rappers, and I like, I like good rappers, obviously. Mm. But like, with the way some of these these URLs the guys come across, like DNA, like prime example, where they don't pay respect to the art form at all, and it's just like, that's why I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'm trying to say with that, but yeah. Like, so basically the point is that you feel like with the title whoever you wins it and the next opponent is like even if dialect he's a very rappy kind of guy do you know what i mean shotty yeah. if shotty did do it he's rap i feel like yeah i think really yeah. agreement of the way it needs to go forward is people who yeah. are just spitting bars and you don't have to rap like you're rapping to a beat but i think it really helps now if you have some kind of rap like you said you okay, can that's... write bars with some kind of intention to deliver it with a cadence that is rap related otherwise they, yeah. otherwise no hip-hop fans will ever be interested in this shit ever you know and I mean? like because beat. there isn't a beat like it's why like multis are so important with in like the acapella format because it like creates like a rhythm naturally like when you say it rather than just like a one syllable thing mm -hmm. so like yeah it's the same with cadence like you need to create that rhythm because it isn't like there for you with a beat but it's a connect call with flex they put digits on the line now you living for a sport your life can finish on the line it never matters the victim they get signed i've been on it from a cup i'm grown now i kill him for the pride breaking breaking bread with my killers it's time for dinner then we dine we need dinner then you dine they put the footage on loop like i did it for the vine don't ever get it he's a uh, technical rapping ability and his ability to rap the cadences that he writes is uh, a lot better than mine. Mm -hmm. He has like really good um, breath control and really good stage presence. Yeah. The way you can structure a scheme and like just full multis, that's not my style. So like that's definitely an advantage you have over me and it definitely goes off with the crowd because it just brings that energy kind of thing. But yeah. then I think the energy that I actually perform with, I think that's my, my, my advantage. 100%. I feel like I can capture a room a bit better. Yeah. But then you've battled on big big stages as well and you haven't had as much energy but you brought it to the crowd so Yeah. Doesn't even know. sound like you want to battle each other. <laughs> we honestly, can do a fourth round like, compliments yeah, if you want. Tomorrow, 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 like, tomorrow, tomorrow this is the least, least fun that I've ever had like preparing for a battle. I'm glad you said that, I was wanted to ask that, yeah. Because like I don't really have like that much bad to say about C like as a person or a battler. It's just like purely a competition thing. Yeah. And it's just like tough, man, when you don't actually 
can't think of anything like really that negative to say about someone. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's not not so much fabricating, but it's um, you have to you have to pull stuff out. Both of you haven't been in uh, Don't Flop for like a year. Do you feel like our scenes changed at all from what you've seen, or do you feel like it's the same Don't Flop you were in like a year and a half ago, or whatever? Or how do you feel? I feel like it's pretty much the same. Like Don't Flop always has a fun crowd, like supportive crowd that uh, you know makes a lot of noise and gives good reactions. So I feel like the scene is pretty much the same. I just find you guys have integrated a lot of new ideas that like you are always doing. I, I see these grind clashes now I've never heard of, like Bam a Lam was re- the reloads and everything was crazy. You did practice Donnie, said your back but ain't catching body. Why? Cause you got rap by Tommy. I catch you properly, your accent's funny. When you rap is like bruv, I didn't catch that, sorry. <laughs> think he's gonna hit you on yeah I mean he's gonna do bad bars I mean like he should spend like a good 24 bars of just bad bars and be like you know I'm doing bad I'm doing what you do yeah right so have you reached <coughs> have you reached the level now where you look back at some things and think that was a bad bar are you still like adamant it wasn't or is it <coughs> Pikachu <laughs> <laughs> I mean where, where are you at with it now if you if you kind of accept your your place in history of bad bars or you I you mean, the, thing, the, thing about, the thing about bad bars, I mean, the Pikachu one. <laughs> 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 Don't try to justify it. I mean, I'll say, it, I'll say it once, I'll say it every time, you know what I mean? I started the scheme off, I said, I said, I got a ghastly scheme for you. <laughs> <laughs> the word ghastly means bad. It means horrific. But exactly, yeah. But so I said, I have a ghastly scheme for you. But when you called and me I and I told you not to scheme. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this. I mean, the everything's point is that it was supposed to be scheme. bad. It was supposed to be bad. I didn't write you any bad bars, but I got a ghastly scheme for you. Your whore see my charm and her pants come off, thrown across the freaking room. I squirt all over her jiggly puffs. <laughs> but that ain't something he would do. He'd rather poke a man to the Bulbasaur. Sack is what Pete could chew. From one, from one battle to the next, I kind of weave them together. So against Bamalina, I did a rock scheme. And then when I said, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then what I have is, Against Homeboy, who was that against? Against the source, I said, I have a more grimy scheme for you. Now, I could have clearly said I have a grimy scheme for you, but I said a more grimy scheme for you, which means I was nice. going to include some grind folk, grind people. Okay. You know what I mean? Like some of the dudes are actors and some of them weren't really grind. But at the end of the day, I said I have a more <laughs> grimy scheme what, for you. That's our point that you were like, I'm going to do a grime scheme. No, I didn't. Let me mention some That's my point. I didn't say I'm going to do a grime scheme. I said I'm going to do a more grimy scheme. Yeah, which should mean they should all be grime. No, it means that the other scheme had no grimy people and this has more <laughs> So what, where does the music scheme, where have you got left to go? No, you know what I mean? I mean, let me tell you, I'll give you guys a little background, you know what I mean? Up until, up until my, <laughs> up until my Bamalan battle, like, I really just kind of, like, kept things uh, focused on my opponent. Then at the, and then my Arcane battle. Arcane was using, like, so many random schemes against me that had nothing to do with me. And I had, like, two weeks because I don't write until, until like, I'm done. Until the new Pokemon season comes. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so I basically was like, I got three weeks to write, and I don't know anything about this, so I am going to just write a bunch of random schemes. And it's the first time I ever did it, and it worked. I'll give you, I'll give you your due that in both battles the football schemes are fucking incredible. Thank you. Like they, there's absolutely unfaultable in that way. Even yeah. though personally I'm not a football fan, but you did it in a way how I feel that's a good example of a scheme where you made it obvious where the where the word plays were and, and whatever. And I feel like the, the Peter Crouch shit was perfect. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm not. I wasn't I mean? gonna do the the second football scheme except for the fact that. <laughs> There's Peter Crouch. Yeah, the name for yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? But I mean, so I mean, in those two, so the first time I came over here, battled Bam Lamb, and I'm like, all right, yo, things went good. I got to come back. I got to battle P- uh, Thesaurus. Mm. And I mean, out here, you know, it's judge battles, right? So I was like, I want to beat Thesaurus, and I think I know how to beat Thesaurus. And it's going to involve a lot of, <laughs> a lot of Pokemon. schemes <laughs> and ridiculous stuff. You guys gave the source a win off of one round against Matter. That is true. That so, was kind of And crazy. you guys gave me a loss off of two rounds that I might have probably won out of three. Yeah. So I'm like, what I need to do is... 
He's not doing the nod this time. <laughs> what I need to do is I want to get this win against the source. Yeah. So I did exactly what I thought would get the win against the source, and it did. And I knew that nobody in North America would get any anything of it because it was a completely yeah. catered to... Yeah. But it worked, though. You know it what I mean? And that was that. But at the end of the day, it, it, it gives a lot of... Um, Gives a lot of ammo to future opponents and anybody who wants to say anything negative. He's probably going to quiz you about all these football references and everything, <laughs> he and be me like, on football, "I'm good." Be like, I'm, "Okay, I'm no Wikipedia now. Who did this? Who did that?" I'm and, good with football. Yo, I've been so trying like, to get on bad bars, like Boston backwards and all this true, shit. Yeah, but yeah, that's too focused. They sleeping on me. So have you two like run any of your shit by each other to be like, "Is this a bad bar?" Because yeah, he ran Stegosaurus right by me. No, you I mean, said I mean this, but this event, yo, this event. <laughs> No, but for the Stegosaurus one, I remember like I was just kind of freestyling a great performance with Stegosaurus. I'm going to go back on point like a Stegosaurus. I didn't know if it was good. He's like, I ain't going to lie, B. That's kind of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So like, and then live, and then live when he spit it, I was standing there like. He was hey, like, Bullets hey, hey. was one of the only people. I, 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 like, it was the first bar, and I kind of covered my face. He's one of the like, only people. Oh, he's oh, probably yes. like the, the person I show my bars to the most. And he's I didn't know if the Stegosaurus line was whack or good. He's like, yo, it's pretty fire. And then I spit it live, and it's crickets. I look at Bullets, and he's laughing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I just got played by 100 bullets. Lunacy, in under 24 hours, you're making your return to Don't Flop and Battle Rap in general. How do you feel? Good, man. I'm excited. Definitely. Yeah. And what, what are you most excited about? Just battling again and having that adrenaline rush of getting big reactions from a bar. Because, like, to be honest, that's the biggest thing I've missed from, like, battle rapping. Like, I perform to bigger crowds than this, but I just know it won't give me... It, this will give me a lot more satisfaction just... Because getting reactions for bars is just something you can't get through performing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, they hear the odd bar and they will react. But like just saying one bar and the whole room just going off, like yeah. that's that's a buzz that you can only really get from battle. You are the product of a shag gone wrong and a snapped con <laughs> A couple days ago I turned my laptop on and saw a friend request from your sister on Match.com. <laughs> So I took the bitch to your yard and fucked her with my forearm. When I pulled my hand out, I had your dad's watch on. <laughs> when did you start thinking that you wanted to you get that feeling again? When I came to the Leeds event, what yeah. was the last Leeds event? I know you mean. The yeah. birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When, just to be honest, I've never been to a battle event other than the Halloween one and I performed there. Yeah. Like that's the first event I've ever been to where I wasn't performing and I've kind of avoided it because I knew that if I did that I'm gonna get the itch and I have to battle again. Like I've always said that and it happened, like I watched everybody battle and I was like, fuck this, I need to do it. If I'm yeah. honest, I can't really fuck with any other leagues in the UK other than Dot Flop. Mm. For a lot of reasons, like mainly because just they don't have their shit together as much. And secondly, just because it just feel like a dick move. Like yeah. it makes much more sense for me to come back to Dot Flop, man. Like that's where the where my, where my battle fan base is. Yeah. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I didn't even watch <coughs> battle rap for the last three years. And that's not cause I don't like it. Like I, I was the biggest battle geek in the world. Like I watched every battle on mm. every league the second it came out. But just like being such a big fan and then going into it and getting a, like a massive reaction and at, like, I'm not sucking my own dick by saying I was the biggest name in yeah. battle rap in the UK. <laughs> Big up Michael White. Um, <laughs> no, you were. No, no, you were. Yeah, you yeah. Were so it, like, so like, going from being just a fanboy to being like the biggest name in dot flop or whatever, that it kind of just burnt my fucking head out to the point where I couldn't even watch battle rap anymore. It just was too much for my head. And being being mentioned in ba battles where I haven't even met the people, I don't even know who they are. I've clicked yeah. on a new tryout and they both mentioned me. I'm like, but one, of, one of my favorite things that has, that has come out of you not battling has been the the, the numerous times you've. You, you, you've, you've agreed, do you know what? Twitter, it's enough of replying to haters. Yeah, yeah. And I love when those tweets come and I'm just thinking, tick, <laughs> that tick, three hours tick. later. <laughs> three hours later, you fucking faggot. Blah, blah, blah. That's, that's one thing about, that's, that, that's a major thing about battle rap with me because I'm, I'm that same, like, I've got that ego and that drive to like, what, want to prove myself as a rapper. And like, if anybody says anything about, like negative about how I, like, I just, I'm, I get that reaction where I want to be like, nah, fuck you. Listen as I spit, Jed. The C in Luna C stands for dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't really care if I lost to O'Shea. Like, it's cool, man. Like, he's, a, he's the only guy who anyone can really call a dope flop legend. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, there's a lot of dudes who are the man of the moment or that, yeah. like, he's a dope flop legend. Do you, you know not I mean? feel like you are as well? You not, feel like, I mean, six, even though it's only six battles, what you not did with really, the man, nah, I could I could never call myself a battle legend after doing... The, I think I had a bigger impact than most <laughs> ever will. Well, not ever will, but, like, have... Well, actually, yeah, like, there's not many who... Mm. I'm always going to be remembered for doing yeah. that. Sometimes I have to remind myself to look at it as like from my 16 year old self's point of view and like look what the fuck I've done and just be happy for like being kind of a name in this shit at all. Do you know what I mean? And like the, the fact that I've gotten up, that's kind of why I've took this battle too, man. Cause I'm like, it's get <laughs> another two, three years. I might not get that opportunity. Yeah, do you know what I mean? True. So I'm like, I, I'm a dickhead if I don't. Apart from me being a better MC, you're a bitch, you ain't never been street. I don't care where you're from, faggot, you ain't threatening me. Where I'm from, Philadelphia is a spreadable cheese. <laughs> I have my fans who like my battles already, and that's from three years ago. I watch my battles, and I'm like, I can do much better. Mm. So, like, whoever liked my battles is gonna like this, because uh, it's better. Like, it's, it's, so how it's, is it better than before? For the just, other six, how in is my it better? Like, the thing is with me, when I first started battling, I tried to, my, my thing was I always want, I never want to do a serious battle and I never want to do a pure jokes battle. I like having a balance of like a perfect balance. And also my jokes have to be, like if my jokes are bars, like mm -hmm. I don't just say I shagged your mum. Yeah. There has to be something clever and, it, and it's just as much of a bar as if I'd have said it about a gun or yeah. if I'd have said it by breaking down their style. It's just as technical and just as much work goes into it and it's just as clever. Like people try to discredit it, but I think that's bullshit. I'm excited as fuck. So yeah, that you see me like, what do you feel like when I announce you and you come down the walkway? What do you think I'm just gonna, gonna walk out mind? like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> For a good 10 minutes, I'm gonna stand like that and then you can turn the camera. <laughs> like a lot of the changes in battle rap over the last few years, I haven't really liked or taken to and I've kind of, but I've just, I've just got into it so much where I'm finding shit that I like again and putting my style, like, and I don't know. I was going to ask, is there any people you feel like you're inspired by in the last couple of months? Or is it, is um, it still just the same old names? Inspired, Shuffle T and Marlo are massively, like, they've just took it to a new level that I don't even, I don't think I could do, man. Like, <laughs> the, the way they perform is just ridiculous. It's not, it is rap. Cause, like, a lot of people say, oh, but they're not rap, but they, they could out-rap most yeah, rappers. Right. Like, they, the way 100%. they put bars together. But, like, I'm, I see it in the way what they like. It isn't rap at the same time. It's like performance art, and usually I think that's kind of gay. Do that of you when people look at, but they just smash it. Like. Any other questions at all? Bullets gone. Yeah, would you do two on twos again? Uh, maybe, man. Um, I'd yeah, love to maybe. see back into it. There's a few guys I'd like to team up with as well. Like I'd, I'd like to do another one no matter because I think we was a good team. But um, I would. I think there's a couple other people who I'd like to. Like me and Kruger would kill it. I think <laughs> that would be crazy. Right? Right? Someone, someone said that to me on Twitter. It's a shame Kruger doesn't rate you at all. Do you yeah, know? I know. <laughs> As a person, <laughs> <laughs> no, you two would be crazy. And yeah, any other English people you love to team with? Um, nah. So it'd just be like literally <laughs> basically nah, Matt Kruger. me, like, like Matt. Uh, I know. I you said, have to have a I relationship me, with the person for, me. For to work. You know minus, what I mean? like, minus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and my boy Minus, who I rap with outside of battle, and he's never battled. I think he'd absolutely smash it. I've been trying to get him to battle since I battled, and he's never really been too interested. But I'm, I think I'm getting there with him. Uh, you said earlier that uh, you watch your old battles and said you, you know, you realize these days you could do a lot better. So critiquing yourself, what do you think that was maybe a weak, you know obviously you have a lot of strong points, but what was a weakness back then that you feel like you've polished up these days that you'll, you'll have a bigger, like why are you going to be better now right. than you were back then? Um, the bars, my bars are just 10 times better in my opinion. Like I'm just going to, in this battle, I'm not going to do too much serious shit, but there is some just straight bars that aren't jokes at all. But with the joke stuff as well, I think even that's improved because when I was writing for those battles, I was like 19 and my sense of humour was a little bit more childish than I am. And I think it's also a weakness as well as a strength that I had because that's what a lot of people liked about me because I say silly things and stupid rhyme schemes and stuff. But I think I might have gone a bit too far with that like back then because I had a silly sense of humour and I just like talking about people's mum's fannies all the time. <laughs> like that was just me as a person outside of battle rap too. Mm. So like that... I think I've reined that in a little bit more and kind of like I'm not going to say anything like that unless it's fucking funny or like it's going to tear the roof off, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I've kind, of, I've kind of just, I think I've just mastered my style a little bit more and kind of updated it, made it a bit 
like the bars have just got much better, but the jokes should be a lot funnier too. I just think improved. There's, that's I know it's a, it's a bit of a cop out as an answer, mm -hmm. but it's just, just every every angle, like something. everything should have improved. I'm not from out here. I'm from half a world away. If I can come into your country and find out everything about you within an hour of being there, you fucking suck at cheating <laughs> on your bitch, bro. <laughs>